Hmm, so spark plugs, can they make a difference in power? Well, sure they can. I guess depending on the issue they're fixing. But with that said, if you're replacing a bad spark plug with a good spark plug, then yes, you're gonna get power. But what happens if you replace perfectly good spark plugs in a newer modern car like this with something like this? Old school copper plugs. You would think that at almost $10 a plug, certainly the ones that come in the car are better. They're gonna make more power. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. All I know is I'm gonna try to find out in today's video. Let's have some fun on Cars Create. Okay, so you don't have to tell me. I know Excel products aren't the best. In fact, they've actually had these plugs in the Mustang once before. And uh, well, the factory ones went back in after 7,000 miles because these developed the misfire. But I never actually tested it if they made a difference because the thing is here, these plugs, and the reason why I have bought them the first time is they're two steps colder than factory. Right, actually two steps colder is way more than I need giving what's done to the car, but I only bought these because I thought maybe it was a good idea to get a step, at least one step quarter plug when I put the boost max on the car and gave it more boost. Come to find out, it works just fine with even the factory plugs and extra boost. So I'm not running nearly enough boost to warrant any quarter plug. I still wondered if there was any benefit, at least anything that was measurable between the, uh, the OEM Iridium plugs and you know, something like this, copper plug. See, now the thing is, copper plugs like this, copper is just a far better conductor and these are probably a lot lower resistance than, uh, than the plugs that come in the car or just any other type of uh, iridium plug. I mean, these are just basically copper core straight through to a big, thick copper tip on the bottom. It doesn't have to narrow down. It is a straight shot into the combustion chamber. Like if you're talking about max spark performance, max power, generally regardless, you're going with a copper plug. Even though they're the old school plug, these are the ones that are gonna make the most power. Are they gonna last the longest? Absolutely not. <laughs> are they gonna make the most power? Well, in most cases, yes, they will. And that's why people use them. They don't use them for longevity, they use them for power. And I'm gonna test that today in the Mustang will replacing the factory plugs with these measure in more power? I don't know. Will it be better spark? I don't know. But what we have to do to first figure out if there's a difference is go get a baseline run with the factory plugs, which they are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. The car runs beautifully with them. And then once we got that run together, we'll go ahead. And I already have four of these pre-gapped and ready to go at 20 thousandths. We'll throw them in, do the same run, see if there's any measurable difference. Let's go ahead and fire up the car, get out to the track, and see what the car does with the factory plugs. Fourth gear at about 40 mile an hour. I'm gonna measure 50 to 100. So, uh, see what it does. Well, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the car back home, swap out the plugs, and we'll do the same thing. See if there's any difference. All right, back home now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands a little bit dirty and get these old plugs out, new ones in. And I'm curious to know. Part of me wants to say there won't be a difference, and some part of me is feeling a little, a little saucy today. Feels like there will be a difference. We're gonna find out here very shortly. All right, got the new plugs in. Let's get back in the car and go and see uh, how they do. Same section of track, same everything. Not much more different time of the day. Temps about the same. Everything should be as close to the first run as possible. And the only difference being spark plugs. We're gonna do the same thing. Fourth gear, 40 mile an hour. Just stab it and let it do its thing. And uh, all right, here we go. 50 to 100. It 
definitely felt stronger. But there's only one way to know for sure. So I'm gonna pull it to the side somewhere and uh, we can go check out the data and you know, see what happened. See if there was a difference. All right, cool. So pull it to the side here and I'm looking over to things and to my very surprise, <laughs> there was indeed a positive difference. So let's go ahead and um, I'll show you the graph. So this graph is from the first run. This is with the factory plugs. Also got the 28 thousandths, mind you. And uh, let's look at the top here. It was 68 degrees and we had a density altitude of 593 feet. So, you know, pretty good air today. Really, really nice air here in Florida. And if we see over 948 feet, it managed to go from 50 to 100 in 8.16 seconds. And uh, also it is almost flat at a negative 0.03% slope. So with all that data in mind, let's go look at the most recent one with the Excel plugs gapped at 28 thousandths. And we can see here that we managed a better time of 7 0.93 seconds so that would be a difference of uh you know two solid tenths of a difference there um in both runs so there's also some variables that would play against the new time so it is slightly later in the day now while i did it as fast as i could it's still later in the day it still got a little bit warmer 69 degrees the density altitude did go up a couple hundred feet 778 feet still not bad air still pretty good i started the run a little bit sooner than the last run so the section of the track that i did the run on was a little bit more of a slope at 0 0.18 so it wasn't as flat as the first section it's pretty flat as far as i'm concerned with all of that said it still managed to do it in 7.93 seconds and look at the distance it managed to cover the distance in 919 feet whereas the original plugs did it in 948 feet. That's a difference of 29 feet. That means this car moved itself quicker, 29 feet quicker than it did before by just changing spark plugs. There had been some type of difference in power for it to manage that kind of time. So I'm going to go ahead and say that while it's not a huge, huge difference, like you're not talking about half a second or that it's two tenths of a second, 30 feet difference. If you're in a race scenario, 30 feet is a lot of real estate on the track that I managed to go from 50 to 100 in a shorter distance of 29 feet. I think that's a pretty good indication that there is definitely a power increase with these new plugs. And it's not uncommon to see a few horsepower, a few pound feet of torque picked up by spark plugs. I think in this scenario, because the car does have extra power, maybe it does respond better to a colder plug and definitely a full copper plug that's going to be lower resistance it's going to be a lot better just to get the spark from a to b without any trouble especially at the higher rpm and i mean that's evident i could feel the difference in torque in that run and it shows up on the graphs it shows up in the runs you know i think we can draw the conclusion to the video that yes the excel spark plugs did in fact make a difference over the factory iridium plugs and i think that would probably hold true to most cars so yeah i think i can add another successful test video here to the cars created channel Channel, but let me know what you think anyways that's going to wrap it up here for this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already go ahead subscribe to the channel and keep looking out for the next true car enthusiast video